My next guest takes on Sean Jordan in the PFL 2018 Event 1 Tournament fight coming up here on June 7th. It is Mike Kyle joining me here on the program. Mike, how are you? Great, man. Thanks for having me on. No problem. I appreciate you taking the time. And uh, first off, uh, how excited were you to be a part of this tournament? Uh, you know, it's it's kind of interesting, and obviously that's got the uh, $1 million prize at the end. Uh, you know, I'm really grateful, um, thankful, uh, thanks for the opportunity. Uh, like I said, I've been fighting a long time, and, uh, you know, as I get towards my career here, uh, it'd be nice to have a nice, nice way to go out with the bang and make a little money and try to end with the title. And uh, what's cool about the PFL format is they're going right into another season. So, you know, it's not going to be champs being protected. You know, uh, you have to win the belt, and then the next season starts a few months later. And then so it, it's, it's, it seems like a really cool format. I'm excited for it. And I know you had the media day a few weeks back uh, with all the other fighters. Uh, how was that getting to see some of the competition that uh, you could potentially be facing? Well, it was good. Uh, a lot of good fighters. A uh, lot, lot of a uh, lot of heavyweights. You know, so uh, I'm excited. You know, uh, I have a good chance to actually winning winning the tournament. I believe, and uh, uh, you know, like I said, it's, it's, a, it's a way to solidify my career and go out with a bang and. Uh, I could hang up my gloves, walk away, and start a new chapter of my life. You know? For sure. Was it was it awkward at all seeing the other fighters there, or did you guys all get along? Uh, no, we all get along. Uh, you know, uh, I have no problems with none of the fighters. Most of the fighters are uh, most of the fighters are pretty cool. You know, I've never had no problems with no other fighters. And you've obviously competed for PFL and World Series of Fighting, and, and you fought for a lot of promotions throughout your career. How has it compared, you know, uh, competing for PFL as opposed to some of the other uh, promotions you fought for? You know, PFL's up there with the UFC. Uh, PFL's, uh, they're getting more and more uh, professional. They're uh, going out of the way for their fighters. And the one thing that, that needs to happen, though, is uh, the insurance, you know, uh, I know uh, in, it, UFC fought hard for the fighters so that all the fighters would have insurance. You know, that way if there's any injuries or anything during camp, you know, they'd be taken care of. Uh, you know, that's the one thing that, you know, PFL's still lacking on. Uh, but, you know, it's a great league to fight for. Uh, there's no other league I'd rather be fighting for right now, uh, including the UFC. I wouldn't want to ever go back to the UFC. Uh, I'd like to finish my career with the PFL and uh, next two, two, three years if I'm lucky. But, you know, ideally is if I could get through this tournament and go into next season, fight another season, I will go and then uh, walk away from it, hang it up. Good stuff, man. You got it all planned out. I like that. Um, there's no easy fights in this tournament, and that's certainly the case in this matchup. You're taking on Sean Jordan, a uh, really tough guy. How do you feel like you match up against him in this fight? Uh, no, it's a good matchup for me. I, I like to fight. Uh, I'm a lot longer. Uh, he's a lefty. Uh, you know, it makes he's coming out of a good camp. Uh, he has a you know quite a bit of knockout. It seems like he either gets knocked out or he knocks people out. So uh, you know, it seems like he's going to be a good, good, good stand-up fight that you know the fans will want to see. And who are some of the, your main training partners that are uh, helping you get ready for this fight? You know, uh, Lefty Bagoy. Uh, uh, you know, he's the champ of the you know, PFL was pro fight, uh, World Series of Fighting. But, uh, you know, he, he left, he went on to the UFC. He's going to be fighting. Uh, Dos Santos, what a huge fight that's going to be for him in his debut. Yeah, then, boys, that's going to be a good fight. So it's been a perfect matchup for training wise for him. So now he's got some boxing. You know, uh, he's facing Dos Santos a lot like myself. Uh, and then me facing a lefty. You know, I don't think Sean Jordan's better than Baga. So. No, well, it's been good. It's been good camp, and uh, excited to get to fight them. And who's going to be in your corner for this fight? Uh, just Nate Pettit and a couple of guys from the Couture, Randy Couture here. And do you have to train it uh, differently at all for this tournament? With the fact it is a tournament, I know you know you're going to be fighting relatively soon after this fight. Do you have to kind of uh, you know maybe dial things back a little bit just in case you don't get injured? Uh, well, uh, yeah, uh, I'm just more or less. I'm thinking about. Uh, getting that getting that that five round fight uh you know uh if you get through these two fights you have to have a uh in the tournament it's gonna be a one two round fight and then the second fight's gonna be a third three round uh three round fight so it's the same as fighting five rounds so 
mentally, physically, I'm, I'm been changing my cardio, my cardio now, instead of going 20 minutes hard, as far as sprints and hard and getting my rate up for only 20, 25 minutes, I've been going a hard sprint for a hard 30 minutes. That way I get my, you know, I'm getting used to that, those five rounds instead of fighting three rounds. How do you see this fight ending on June 7th? Uh, knockout, man. I'm going for the knockout uh, I, or finish. You know, that's a point system. You score high, you get points. You win, you get three points. You finish the fight, you get another three points. So that, now you're going to go into the tournament with the highest bracket system. You know, just like the old uh, NCAA wrestling, you know. So if you've got higher points, you're going to be facing some with the lower points. So you get the better matchups. So... It's exciting, man. Uh, I always look to finish fights. So. Good stuff. And uh, and obviously, uh, there's a lot of really good matchups in this tournament. Does part of you want to fight Josh Copeland again, get that rematch, and you know, avenge that loss? Oh uh, yeah. I mean, uh, there's no uh, no one in particular, but yeah, uh, that's one that's always in the back of my mind. Uh, I'm sure we'll end up squaring up somewhere in the tournament, if not this year, next year. <laughs> good stuff. No, that's good, man. You're looking long term. Um, the the winner gets a one million dollar prize. I'm sure that's crossed your mind at this point. What would you do with the money if you did win the win the one million dollars? Well, I really want to get a little cross to Jim going. Uh, nothing like uh, not too much focus on MMA, but I'd like to get a little gym going here and uh, maybe have my wife do like a woman's kickboxing class and then there you uh, go. have a have a spin class in there and uh, have like a yoga instructor and make uh, basically basically make it a of overall fitness, not so much MMA, but help it make it make a gym that's a, a overall health and fitness type of gym. And it doesn't have to be real big, something small, and uh, that'll pay for itself. And that way, uh, you know, I'm not losing money. But at the same time, I'll get it established. And uh, you know, I look to train. I look to train people, and uh, I'm looking forward to building the world champ. In the meantime, though, you got this big fight against Sean Jordan. Like I mentioned, it's uh, PFL Event 1 2018 coming up here June 7th. Mike, it was great getting a chance to talk to you, man. Just remind people where they can find you on social media. And if you got any sponsors or shout-outs, the floor is yours, man. Well, I'm constantly working on my music, so you guys, you know, I'll always log on. My, I got a couple web pages. I got a, you know, I got the Facebook, DJ Mac, M-A-K. And uh, I got my Instagram, DJ Mac, Mike Kyle. Uh, Facebook fans and Mike Kyle. Uh, you know, just thanks for all the support. And like I said, uh, it's been a long time at this game and sport. And uh, I appreciate all the fans out there that uh, supports me. Those that don't, eat it. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but I, I, I thank, uh, thank everyone that, uh, you know, it's been a long, long career. And uh, a lot of people think, a lot of people think for all, all of it. Uh, Thank my pain in my ass, my wife. She uh, she always pushes me, promotes me, and uh, you know my kids and just uh, it's 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 been a good. You know I'm thankful for that. Thank God Almighty, you know for you know helping me get where I'm at in my life and the changes I've made in my life and the person I'm becoming and become. And uh, I'm just thankful. Thanks for PFL, of course, for the opportunity, and I can't wait to get in there. What's up, fight fans? If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to see even more interviews with your favorite UFC and Bellator fighters. We've also got coverage at events, including post-fight press conferences and media scrums. And if you like this video, check out the video to my right. It's worth your time.